New York City is full of landmarks and one is being reprogrammed to bring awareness to climate change. Previously, Union Square's famed 15-digit clock displayed the current time on the left side and the time left remaining in the day on the right. Now, the clock, which stretches 62 feet, will count down the amount of time left to take action and prevent the effects of global warming from becoming irreversible. For more on this, I want to bring in Andrew Boyd and Gan Golan. Andrew Boyd is a climate activist and one of the Climate Clocks creators, along with co-creator Gan Golan. Thanks to both of you for being with us. Andrew, let me start with you. What inspired this project and how did you come up with this specific number of over seven years? Um, yeah, thank you. And it's great to be on the show tonight. Um, actually, I'm going to pass that question to my colleague, Gan Golan, because uh, it was his initial inspiration uh, that kind of uh, got the project rolling. And he wrote me in. I was the first person he sort of pulled in. But there's a, a very beautiful moment that sort of got this going. And I'm going to sort of let him tell that story. Yeah, thank you. Um, the, the project really began about almost exactly two years ago. And it was uh, started in a very personal way for me. Uh, my first child was born. Um, I had a daughter in Oct early October of 2018. And of course, it was a wonderful moment for me. But just a week later, the world received some pretty uh, stunning news. Devastating um, news. Yeah, that, um, you know, the foremost scientific authority on climate science uh, released a report saying we only had a certain amount of years left before the impacts of climate change would become irreversible. And as a new father, um, it felt to me like everybody should understand this. And this timeline, this number, should be something that we shout from the rooftops. Um, and so this clock is sort of a way to do that. And our hope is that this right. clock and this number that you're seeing there is something that we see everywhere. And does that number fluctuate? Um, you know, does it speed up or slow down depending on what's going on in the world? Or is that a set number? Yes, it's currently based on our current climate emissions. And if we can reduce them, and we must, we must do everything we can to reduce our carbon emissions as fast as we can, starting now. And if it, if we do succeed at hitting our early goals, the, the clock will reflect that and it will give us more time. Um, yeah, the, the, the less carbon emissions we create, the longer this time window gets. And so that's the good news. It will respond to what we do, but we have to take action. And what was it, uh, you know, what was the light bulb that went off in your head that thought a clock that everyone can see that will have the most impact to drive home this message? Well, I mean, a clock because the timeline is critical. It's not like we can decide to get serious about this in 10 years. Um, that's not soon enough. We it, it is a, uh, we are in a climate emergency and we must take action now. Uh, so a clock made a lot of sense. Uh, the time window is critical. And then making it a huge clock in the middle of New York City also made great sense because a monument is a way a society uh, kind of tells itself what is important. And arguably, this is the most important number in the world. And it should be at the center of our public square. It should be... Um, the clock that we we set our watches by, the, an everyday reminder of our climate challenge. Um, and so it made great sense to put it up in Union Square, um, have it tick down, and um, hopefully other cities will pick up uh, you know, the idea and put them up in their cities, mm -hmm. because this is a global effort. Everyone has to be involved. These clocks, we need to synchronize our, our actions, synchronize our watches around this, coordinate globally to make this happen. Um, so our hope is that this is just the first of many clocks. Yeah, and with and all that's going on, go, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, you know, I was just going to ask since the goal, Please, sorry, go ahead. go ahead. You know, just with all that's going on in the world right now, we're, we're, we're going through a pandemic, you know, uh, the West Coast is is on fire. I had to uh, evacuate both my parents from Oregon. There's five cyclones circling in the Gulf right now. Yeah, so there's there's so much on our plate that it's easy to lose focus on climate. And we wanted to make sure that we were bringing climate back to the center of our attention because it really is one of the biggest problems that's uh, sort of lurking in the background and the cause of a lot of these crises that we're seeing right now. So putting this clock front and center in a way that 
We couldn't push it aside. We couldn't ignore it. Seemed like uh, a very good way to make sure that we were uh, paying attention to this crisis. It's a way to speak science to power. All right. Well, Andrew and Gan, thank you so much for joining us. It's a, it's a fantastic idea, and I can't wait to check it out in Union Square. Thank you so much. Thank you Great. very much. Thank you.